Are you looking for the evidence analysis you need when writing about the character Macduff? Well, look no further. The aim of this video is to provide you with all the information you need to help you achieve the very highest marks when being asked to explore Macduff in the play Macbeth. All we'll do now is run through a plethora of key quotes and analysis that you can include. So let's begin. I will do so, but I must also feel it as a man. Macduff utters this line after hearing the murder of his family. He is not cold-hearted like the Macbeths following murders and breaks the traditional masculine role to openly mourn his loss. The conjunction but shows that Banquo will also seek his revenge after allowing himself the moment of humanity, a feature which the Macbeths do not account for and thus leads them both into a spiral of insanity. They have no words. My voice is in my sword. The Beth tends to use empty rhetoric either to talk himself in or out of situations. Macduff is more reminiscent of the Macbeth we hear of early on in the play, using this metaphor to allow his actions to speak for him and build reputation on his behalf. Boundless intemperance in nature is a tyranny. Macduff shows himself in stark contrast to Macbeth once again. He feels that lust and greed cause a man's downfall, which makes him appear righteous and unassuming. The idea of boundless temperance links to the personified use of the vaulting ambition. However, whereas the latter quote is used to show ambition during Macbeth's action, Macduff quickly equates this trait to tragedy. Let me find him, fortune, and more I beg not. Unlike Macbeth, Macduff does not seek glory, but simply wants redemption for the sins committed against him. The use of the verb beg shows that Macduff is not as desperate for glory as Macbeth and therefore foreshadows his success in avoiding the same pitfalls. Not in the legions of horrid hell can come a devil more damned in his evils to top Macbeth. Macduff's imagery of hell and devils linked to Macbeth's alliance with the supernatural. In the 1600s, a crime such as regicide would have been punishable by death and the power and influence of religion during this time meant people would have believed the perpetrators, in this case Macbeth and his wife, would repent for their sins in hell. But Duff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. Note Macduff also describes boundless intemperance as being untimely downfall of kings. The repetitious word later in the play shows that Macbeth has met an inenviable fate. The aggressive verb ripped signifies Macduff as a ruthless being surviving from the outset of his life. And that's some of the main quotations you can use in exploring Macduff. Good luck, and make sure you continue on with your revision.